Hi, Beetle people. How's everybody doing? Today is a very, very special day in the Beatles community because today would have been George Harrison's 75th birthday. Now, this is a list that I've wanted to compile for a while now, and I chose this occasion to share it with you all. And this is my top 10 George Harrison riffs. So for those of you that might not be musicians, let me just clarify that riffs are different than solos. Of course, solos are in the middle of songs. Um, riffs are usually, well, in the beginning, I suppose. I don't know, that's kind of tough. Um, you know, a good opener. So here we have it, guys. My top 10 George Harrison riffs. Number 10, please please me. This was probably the first time that anyone had ever really heard a George Harrison riff before. So that's why I placed this song at number 10. The opening riff in Please Please Me is just very simple, but very effective. For instance, and that's it. And it's so brilliant and the tune gets stuck in your head. Number nine, on my list of George Harrison guitar riffs is I Call Your Name. Um, it really is just a good rocker. It's a good, solid riff. I mean, ba ba da ba da 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 Come on. Look, I never usually have very good reasons for my, you know, top 10 choices other than I enjoy them, I think they're amazing, and I listened to a bunch of George Harrison today to compile this list. So, to continue, number eight, I chose Wawa. <laughs> um, it just, it's so raw and has, you know, a lot of, a lot of feeling in that guitar, and it, you know, it sounds like the guitar in a sense, is, you know, it's crying. It, you're making it wah-wah. <laughs> Number seven on my list is If I Needed Someone. Just, George Harrison, his riffs are just so iconic. And once you hear those opening notes to If I Needed Someone, it's just, you know that it's George. Um, and I also love that it's of its time. Uh, very 1964. 566-ish, you know, that, that particular style. And the birds, of course, were very popular at the time, and it just has that really clean twang, if you will. Number six on my list, we have My Sweet Lord. And this is probably one of the first times where we hear George Harrison's signature harmonics that he loved and loved to do in his songs. It's just probably one of the most beautiful riffs and such an introduction to an amazing, amazing song. Now, number five is Ticket to Ride. Such an iconic opener. I know I keep saying it over and over. I know I'm not the only one that gets so stoked when they hear this. Once again, simple but effective. It makes the whole song. All right, my friends, we are now in the top four of this countdown. Number four is Here Comes the Sun. Now, I had a little trouble deciding whether or not to put this on the list. Because, yes, it's in the beginning, it's an introduction, is this really considered a riff? So I kept it on the list because it is list worthy. It's such a great opener. I really wanted to know what your thoughts were. If you agree that Here Comes the Sun should be on this list, let me know. Uh, it's kind of one that I juggled with. All right, guys, number three on my George Harrison riff list is Day Tripper. Everybody knows that lick. Um, so 
iconic. Once again, very simple. Um, but just so good. And God, my reasons suck, you guys. They really do. I have no good explanations why these particular riffs are as amazing as they are. So just deal with it. All right, guys, my top two. Number two, what is life? Ba -da 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 if you don't get goosebumps when you listen to the beginning of that song, I don't know. You don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of person you are. Um, what is Life is probably one of my favorite George Harrison songs. Uh, and that riff is just so amazing. And even used in some of the greatest cinematic moments, of course, I'm talking Goodfellas. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are. Number one for George's 75th birthday. My number one favorite George Harrison riff is, drum roll, And Your Bird Can Sing. That is probably one of the most intricate, catchy, amazing guitar riffs ever. Um, I, of course, am not that skilled, I cannot play it. I give major props to any guitarist that can play that riff. Bow down to you, cause it's a tough one, but it's so cool. I mean, to have such a riff like that in a pop song, only George Harrison could do such amazing things. All right guys, before I wrap up this video, I wanted to do some honorable mentions. Uh, they, did, they were still really good, but just didn't make my cut. Um, I chose, Unconsciousness Rules, And I Love Her, uh, P2 Vacation Blues, Tax Man, Every Little Thing, and What You're Doing. All right, guys, and there you have it, my top 10 favorite George Harrison riffs on what would have been George's 75th birthday. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and other ridiculousness. Please follow my Facebook fan page. And if you have a Twitter account, you can follow me on Twitter, even though nobody ever does. All right, guys, until next time, as always, peace and love. And George, wherever you are, happy birthday. Bye.